Hi and welcome in this tutorial for using Triple Will for your Shopify e-commerce business. In this video, I want to go over how to use Triple Will best for your business, how to use it as a attribution tracking and also overall business data software. As an agency that spends over 100K in monthly ad spends, um, I think we know how to use it as effectively as possible for all of our clients. And in my opinion, it's a must have for any e-commerce brand, like spending more than 100 euros or dollars each day. And from there, be able to tell a lot more about your business growth. And from there, being able to scale a lot faster with the right data where you can actually rely on. So I just want to go into my computer and basically walk you through the software, what it's all about and how to use it as effectively as possible. And hopefully in this video, you will get a lot more ideas on how to utilize it best for your business. So let's get into it right away. So here we are in the Triple Well dashboard. I have blurred out some details you can see right here, just so I don't reveal any client data. But if you enter the Triple app, assuming you have installed everything correctly, um, you will be displayed with this like overview here. Uh, I'm just going to be under the assumption that you have set up Triple Will correctly. Otherwise, just go to their site and make sure or talk to their support and make sure that everything is set up correctly. Also, assuming that you have the Triple Pixel, which is also very, um, very useful for us to see all the data. But right here, if you enter the software, you're in the summary tab where you can basically get a bird's eye view of like what your numbers are showing you in your business. So uh, at the top right, uh, this is their new layout, by the way, um, where you will see by the, basically the um, the overall numbers and you will see like this new sidebar over here. And at the top right, you can just select your overall time frame. So right here, I just took the last seven days just for the purpose of this video. And at the top, you will see your pins, uh, which you can like customize at the top right. You can uh, create a section, um, you can customize the summary. Um, and this is usually the way I've set it up. They have some like presets right here, like three row to rule them all, Shopify, bit media performance, etc. cetera. So um, just being under the assumption that you have this set up, what you can see here is your overall ROAS, for example, your new customer ROAS, and basically your overall ROAS, you can uh, go to this little help button where you will see your blended return on ad spend, uh, your sales basically divided by your uh, total ad spend. So this is your, basically your total store ROAS, which obviously a good guideline of how your store is doing. Um, I just took these numbers because these metrics are very important for us at the agency, your ROAS, your new customer ROAS, so are we actually generating new customers, your net profit, obviously, um, your ad spend, your total sales, and your NCPA, which is basically your new customer CPA, and tells you if you're acquiring customers at a good rate. So of course, for every business, this uh, number will differ, but for this client, we are shooting at around a 30 to around a 35. Um, and right here, you will see your MER, your overall stats in the Triple dashboard, you will see your store metrics. And if you scroll down, you will also see your pixel data. Um, so here you can assess your performance, but more on that later. Um, you will see your ROAS data, Shopify, paid media performance, website traffic, so your conversion rate, um, marketing ecosystem, you will see your Google numbers. So right here you will see the Facebook numbers, but do note that these are the in-platform numbers. So these are not the right numbers to go off. These will only be reported by the numbers that are imported by Facebook. If we go onto the pixel uh, later, you will see a lot more about the actual data. So, um, but of course you can go off like numbers like CTR, which are always correct, uh, but conversion data can be a bit difficult to assess by just going off the in-platform data, of course. You will see your Google Ads numbers, Snapchat, if you're running ads, I wouldn't recommend it, um, TikTok, uh, Clavio and your expenses inventory, etc. Um, so that's the summary tab. It's really good to get that bird's eye view uh, of like how your store is doing. You can also get their mobile app and just like on the go check how uh, how your overall store is doing, which is great. Um, then uh, we can go to the Pixel and Pixel, you have like all these settings. Um, 
basically you don't want to mess with a lot of them if you're just doing ads um, i would usually go to the all or the ad section but we'll um, dive into some of the other ones first tracking settings which is really important to have the right utm uh, parameters on your ad so just copy it and then paste it well, it just looked like it froze let me just refresh there we go um, you can get google ads here utms TikTok. Etc. You can also build like a generic URL if you want to track some other stuff. Um, pixel settings is really important to make sure that your pixel is all the way set up. And then of course you can go into your ads. So what we usually do, um, of course you have different attribution windows, but we'll dive into that all right now. Um, just leave this at events. And then of course you'll have your attribution like um, windows. Um, Standard, it's uh, set up with triple attribution plus Facebook views, but this is like also including like Facebook view through, which can be a bit like inflated. So usually what we'll do is we'll have it on triple attribution only and see what the numbers are there because it's only basically um, counting also the clicks. So that's basically what you want to optimize for because view throughs can be a bit difficult to include in that number because yeah, they are not like real, um, real data to actually counting your conversions as in an optimization uh, method. And this is just like having the real click data is way more valuable because yeah, futures can come from everything and it's not really like reliable data to like optimize your campaigns off. So you can also filter down these different channels, Facebook, Google, TikTok, to make sure that you're tracking all of your channels. So for example, we can go to Google and see the performance there. Um, and do the same for TikTok, um, et cetera. So for this example, let's just go to Facebook. And what the beautiful thing is here as well, they just uh, launched this feature that you can actually turn on and off um, different ad, ads and ad sets, basically. So right here, you have a campaign set up and different ad sets, and you can manually adjust your budget within Triple Will. So you don't even have to go to your Facebook ads manager anymore to manage your day-to-day uh, -day optimization. So that's really great to uh, increase budgets or decrease the budgets. And that's really helpful to um, yeah, basically save a lot of time by going back and forth. What's basically something we usually uh, had to do, uh, but not anymore. And the beautiful thing is, and something I found really valuable um, right here, you can see this number, ROAS number. If you click on it, you will see the, like, the real-time data between like when you're orders are actually happening. So let's say yesterday, for example, for this client, it was a really, really like strong day. And that's a real indicator for me to scale this campaign up because in the last day it got a lot of sales. And then from there, it can use that data to get more sales by increasing that budget. And that's really powerful for us to see like how the campaigns are actually doing. And uh, at the bottom here, you can also see the live view of the actual orders coming through. And that's just something you will not have with by just uh, relying on Facebook data. Um, and this is super powerful to have the real time data and make sure that you're always be able to optimize based on like how the orders are actually coming in and being able to tell where people have actually came from. So for example, this is an order and you'll basically see a lot of touch points. So first they came onto like a Google ad and then they came on like a Facebook ad. And that's also obviously something you want to consider. Um, obviously, Google Ads is very bottom of funnel for us, uh, for, for most brands that we run the ads for. And usually people will co come from like a Facebook ad and then Google will also take the attribution. But in like a sense where you wouldn't have an attribution to, like Google will claim the credit and you will think, oh, let's kill up Google. But that's not the right thing because they first came from like a Facebook ad. So that's the first touch point. And the beautiful thing is with Triple Wall, you can also um, optimize based on a first click basis. So right here, you can see the first click base and that's basically non overlapping any channels. And it will like see Facebook, these are the purchases that came from a first click basis. And that's what we can also optimize for. So that's just a really strong point to being able to optimize Facebook ads from a first click standpoint. And that's just super, super powerful. All right, um, I think that's enough for the overall pixel. Um, what also is really powerful is a creative cockpit. And basically in there, you can select a couple of, camp uh, a couple of ads and see how they're doing. 
What we usually do is that we'll filter down by ad spend and see which ads are performing the best. So right here, um, this ad had spent 1230 and it is operating uh, within the targets. And you can see the data and you can click the link and it's super powerful to just identify very quickly which ads are performing the best. And you can see your new customer CPA for each ad. So just like a really like quick way to identify your winners and which ads are actually putting the performance in your account. And also going off, of course, their uh, triple pixel data. So it's not just based on the Facebook uh, data. It's actually uh, powered by their triple pixel. So that's super powerful. So um, the last one is your insights tab. Uh, they just launched some new features right here. And these are basically some audiences from Triple Will. And you're basically able to sync them with Facebook and you can create like lookalikes from them. We're not the biggest fan of lookalikes, but in some accounts, these audiences have actually performed really well because you can identify which ones are your most loyal um, audiences. So for example, this one in this segment, um, there are 1300 people and this generated over 600K in revenue with a really good lifetime value over like the last 365 days. So that's obviously a very strong audience. And with that audience, you can give, give like signals to Facebook to which audiences to target. And in some cases it can definitely perform, but yeah, we usually go broad and with limiting your audience, of course, you might impact the CPM and the cost of your audience and the limit uh, and the abilities to scale your audience. So that's obviously a bit difficult for you being able to scale, but go broad and just test these on the side, see if they work. Um, and it can't hurt to obviously test them. Um, you can see cohorts. Um, I won't dive into like all of these, but some things are very powerful. For example, the lifetime value over the last 60 or 90 days. Um, so let's just check this out. You can see like your AOV, of course, very important. Uh, what's your AOV that you're averagely getting for the tree? And you can see your lifetime value over 60 or 90 days. So that just will know you like if you're on the first purchase, you are profitable. But then, of course, after 60 or 90 days, what will be your lifetime value to get that money back if you're just breaking even on the front end? You can see your sales cycle. So which products are people buying first? And then, of course, you will see like how many days will um, will have to occur between their second order. You can see your product journey, bundling, your AOV data. Um, they also have a post-purchase survey. Um, so right here, you can add this. For this client, we've added it. And it will add like an extra layer of tracking where we can see where it actually came from. So you can see Facebook, Instagram, Google, Pinterest, and it will also be populating in their pixel without overlap. So that's really powerful as well. Um, so yeah, um, this is kind of it. Uh, this is kind of the overall tutorial on how to use, um, how to use the pixel, um, how to also use overall the triple software. Um, it's honestly a game changer for all of our clients and we continue to use it as it's add like another layer of security by knowing what we're scaling because if you're just going off the Facebook data, it's really difficult to scale up your store and to being able to make sure that you're profitable, especially looking at the overall numbers, for example, here, you can just see from bird's eye view if you are profitable um, and it's updated real time, of course, so that allows you to scale with certainty. Um, and put it like absolute certainty to make sure that your story is profitable. Uh, the guys over at Triple hooked me up with a 15% lifetime discount. That link is down in the description. So if you want to check it out, go click that link in the description and you'll get 15% off your lifetime subscription. So it will be every month you will get that 15% off. So hope you enjoyed this video. I will catch you in the next one and share this with a friend if you like it. Uh, hit the like button and uh, place a comment if you're also using Triple Will. See you in the next one.